whatever journey. They want the end goal without climbing the ladder. They want to do the seven figure months, but they don't want to. They don't want to do the right things to begin with. Even if you watch a course, you can follow the course, but it takes more than just the course in order for you to succeed. Once you start making money, you kind of feel limitless at a point. You're like, damn, I can make this money forever, and then you have a really bad month. Goal setting, not revenue side, but like goal setting, like, all right, like if this gets shut down, we're gonna do this. We're never gonna have to like have a bad, quote unquote, bad month, I would say. Even when I see the ads, like today being in the game for some years, I'm like, oh, like, yeah. you know, another ad, another ad. But at the end of the day, you just said that right. Like if I didn't see that ad, I would probably be studying computer science, like being a nerd in, in college, coding, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, man, like even though, you know, the ads make it seem easy or like th they definitely do the right job. They, they catch the attention and kind of show you the possibilities um, if you put in the work and if you want to put in, in that work to, to make whatever you're learning, I guess, work yeah. out for you in the end of the day. So what do you, th what do you say like in your journey, right? Um, what were some pivotal moments? Like what was something that helped you go from like nothing to scale for example like was it just a, a product or like a strategy i don't know like what would you say was a pivotal moment a uh, big pivot in my journey man like what made me go from six figure months to seven figure months is honestly finding the right finding the right um team partner mm. so shout out sydney she she's my partner now um but honestly man like having two great minds two hard-working minds collide together it, it's really it, it's mind-blowing to see what results can come out of that and she picks up the slack and i pick up her slack on, on, on things we're bad at things we're good at so it works very well and, and that's really that's really kind of the breakthrough of going from six to real quick if you appreciate these clips and interviews that i put forward for you then please make sure you use our shopify link in the description to start your own shopify business with an exclusive deal and also make sure you check out at kimmylab.com for additional resources free tools guides and just a lot of interesting stuff that will help your journey even some software deals that are exclusive to akimilab.com so make sure you do that and continue watching the video seven but from from starting out and getting to even six figures your first five figures i definitely think being realistic with yourself which a lot of people aren't when they start e-commerce or whatever journey they they want the end goal without climbing the ladder like they want to do the they want to do the seven figure months but they don't want to like they don't want to do the right things to begin with um so they never go and they never progress and even if you watch a course, you can follow the course, but it takes more than, than just the course in order for you to succeed. Um, so yeah, I mean, being realistic, working with the right people, and uh, lastly, like goal setting. Like goal setting helped a lot with the realistic thing because once you start making money, you're, you kind of feel limitless at a point. You're like, mm -hmm. damn, I can make this money forever. And then you have a really bad month. Um, so goal setting, not revenue side, but like goal setting, like, all right, like if this gets shut down, we're gonna do this. So we're never gonna have to like have a bad, you know, quote unquote bad month, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I guess just like little tweaks in the business really, really helped out. I like that. That's, that's really good, bro. You know what that reminds me of too, is this quote, you probably heard of it, but it's like we overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in five. Like that's kind of a good example because um, mm -hmm. it's same with me. Like in my first year after making like that first thousand dollar month, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to my next goal is like 250K a month, like so fast. I was like, I can do anything. Um, and that wasn't even close. You know, by the end of the year, it was not like that. Uh, mm -hmm. But then fast forward five years in it became much easier to reach numbers like that because like you just get better you know like you said you set up systems and you're just able to sustain growth and then partners too bro i'm really happy you mentioned that because for me this year that's been like the biggest realization is just growing the team with the right like operations people 
Because for me, mm-hmm. operations was never a strong suit. And I feel like that always limited my growth. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just try to like find people that I can actually trust and bring into my team and kind of give them like a deep role and be almost like, you know, partners basically. Um, and that made an insane difference. And I'm sure for you, like having a girl too, like that, that adds such a nice touch, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm glad you uh, like touch on the trust thing too. Like when people find, I find these days, a lot of people are chasing partnerships to make more money, right? Like, oh, this person's doing that. I'm a partner with them to make a little more money. Like, yeah, sure. At the end of the day, that works. Um, or it could end up really bad. I've seen stories, people in the space, they partner with somebody because, you know, they want to make more money and then they, someone gets screwed over in the end of the day. Oh, 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 oh